The Liberator Nation is one of the common myths of the USSR about the heroic Soviet people, who in a single impulse opposed the Nazi invaders and freed the enslaved peoples of Europe. The myth was created in Brezhnev times and cultivated to justify the Soviet presence in European countries during and after the war. The real story of the liberating nation was different. In 1944, the Red Army crossed the western borders of the USSR and entered the lands of neighboring countries. The so-called liberation campaign began. The so-called, since the expulsion of the Nazis, didn't bring freedom to the liberated peoples. The liberator himself became an occupier. As a result of the Baltic offensive operation in 1944, the Soviet Union, for the second time, as in the 40th year, annexed Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia, making them Union republics. Puppet communist governments were created in Poland, Bulgaria, Hungary, Romania, Czechoslovakia. So after the end of World War II, a socialist camp controlled by the Kremlin was formed in a large part of Europe. The true attitude towards the liberators is evidenced by the uprisings that periodically flared up in these countries. Soviet resistance was suppressed by weapons and tanks. The myth of liberation is still actively used by modern Russian propaganda, noticeably shifting emphasis. Now, the liberator is not called the Soviet, but the Russian people, leveling the contribution of other Union republics to the victory over Nazism and appropriating the victory and the so-called liberation. At the same time, European states give a clear definition of the Kremlin's post-war actions. We object to historically inaccurate statements by the Russian foreign ministry. Supposedly, Estonia was liberated by Russian troops. The Republic of Estonia did not participate in the Second World War and was occupied equally by Nazi Germany and Soviet Russia. The so-called liberation was an occupation that lasted about 50 years. A statement from the Estonian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Similar statements were made by other liberated states. Liberation in the USSR was also covered by numerous war crimes. The stunning statistics of robberies, rapes and murders committed by Red Army soldiers during the exile of the Nazis contradict the myth of victorious and disinterested defenders of the liberators. Remember, the Stalinist regime used the victory over Nazi Germany to establish its control and occupation of a number of European states. The final liberation of Europe from the totalitarian regime came only after the collapse of communism and the collapse of the Soviet Union.